Hello everyone, this is MopBot, this is a Redstone tutorial, and this is my compact armor station. So if we take a look at this, it works just like my other armor stations, except it's just for one armor stand, and it keeps that same kind of motion, that nice flowing motion that I really like to see. And it is really quite compact if you look at it. It is only too wide, although it is a fair bit long. It is six, seven blocks long here, and it is also two, four, six, eight, nine blocks tall. So, if you come over here and hit this button, this top one is to call the armor stand. That works the same as any other armor station that I've built. And up here, obviously that doesn't have to be glass, but it does look the best. You can see just what you're calling. And then if you hit this bottom one, you'll see that this armor stand will drop to the floor and then go through that cycling motion. This uses a few different mechanics in my last one. It uses a lot more slime blocks to push it around. It helps make it a lot more compact which I think overall is really quite nice. So you'll see here that it looks like it's inside that block, but that is actually just a visual glitch. So if we go ahead and hit that button, call it again, and it'll drop down, and it looks like now it is on the glass. Again, just a visual glitch. So if we hit this bottom button here, it gets called, or dropped rather, and goes straight through the system, just like it would as if you had just placed it, and then we're right in the center. To start with the equipping area, you want to have this little two by two here. This will be your floor. It doesn't have to be glass, it can be anything and that's these four blocks right here. And so if you come up, this is gonna be part of two different circuits. Uh, you start with the magenta circuit here, put a button on that, then the lime above that, and a button on there. And then off the top of this lime block here, place a trap door there, your armor stand will go on top of that, and then you can have two blocks in front of it right like this, and then get rid of that. Come down diagonally from this magenta block, two right like that, and then dust on both of those, a trap door on the back. And now you'll see that if you call your armor stand in, It'll drop right down into this bottom trapdoor, and then click the magenta button and sends the armor stand right into the system. To continue with this magenta circuit, this is for the initial piston pusher, which is right there. And if you come down one block from this magenta here, get rid of that middle block there and place a piece of dust right like that. One block diagonal now, an immovable object, anything that you can place a redstone repeater on, and that repeater will be set to three ticks. That can run up into a block, and then down one more block right like that. Place a redstone dust there, and then a sticky piston to the right of that with a slime block on its face, and that's what will fling the slime block off into the rest of the contraption. One block diagonal now, and one more out like that, both immovable. And then on the end here, you can place a slime block right like this, and then come down a few blocks so you can place an upward spacing sticky piston. And then that is the beginning completely done. Probably the easiest redstone you'll ever do to power this piston here. Come on a block like this, one more out in this direction, and then right up so you're diagonal with this magenta block here. Two tick repeater, right like that, and then dust all the way across that, and then it'll run into that torch elevator there. And then to do this last bit here, really simple, just come up one block diagonally from that slime block there, an immovable object so that the slime block will not pull this back down, and then any block on top of that, just so that when the armor stand gets shot out, it doesn't uh, miss a line, but then you want to come off of this redstone dust here and place a block right like that, and then just do a simple torch tower, just alternating each torch going up, and that'll go right until you're flush with the trap door. Uh, the top one that is, so you'll see that now I have the block here, and it's right flush with that, place a torch on top of that. It should turn off. If it doesn't, you've got one torch missing, or maybe an extra one somewhere. And then place a sticky piston on top of that, and then a slime block in its face, and that is the contraption done. So if we call down our armor stand here, and then send it through the machine, you'll see that it completely cycles and goes right back up to the top. So anyways, this has been MopBot, and I'm out.